Hey guys, so today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get this look. Um, this was the same look that I had in my mid-July favorites video. It's just a really soft, sultry, bronzy eye with no winged eyeliner for a change. So let's get started. First, I'm going to be prepping my eyelid with a base and I'm going to use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Next, I'm going to be using the color Foxy out of the Naked Basics palette for my brow highlight. Now I'm dipping a blending brush into the color Smog from the original Naked palette and then I'm generously spraying it with some of Max Fix Plus. What this is gonna do, it's gonna amplify the color so that way it makes it look more bold and intense and metallic-y. And then I'm just gonna focus this on the outer V of my eye and then I'm gonna take it all the way to the inner crease on the inner corner of my eye. So I do kinda take it all the way across. To blend everything out, I'm taking a blending brush with the color Buck from the same Naked palette and then just kind of blending everything that I just did together. And then I also like to take this on my lower lash line with a really fluffy brush just to make it look really dramatic and really smoky. Um, if you don't want that, obviously you can just skip that step or use a smaller brush on your bottom lash line. So now for my lid, I'm taking my finger and dipping it into half baked and I'm just gonna kind of softly pack that on my lid. And just to brighten up the inner tear duct and the inner corner of the eye, I'm using this shade called Blunt. Uh, this is also from Urban Decay. And just kind of packing that on with my finger. It's just a little bit brighter than half baked is and a little bit less gold. If you really wanted to be like Kim K, I would recommend using a nude colored pencil in your waterline. I for some reason can't do it, so I'm putting black in my waterline because I'm kind of addicted to black in my waterline. I just, I can't stop doing it. But I do not put any eyeliner on my top lash line. So now I'm gonna curl my lashes and put on mascara. And for my top lashes, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic. And then for the bottom lashes, I'm using Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara, which is pretty amazing. Um, if you guys haven't tried it, I do recommend it. It's pretty freaking cool. For my falsies, I'm going to use the Coco Lashes number 102 for my top lashes. Um, and then for the bottom lashes, I'm using these ones from Red Cherry. I'm sorry I didn't film a product shot of it. They are number 502. And to put bottom lashes on, honestly, it's still really difficult for me. I would recommend starting it on the outer edge of your eye and then just slowly working your way to the inner corner of your eye. And once it's actually on there, I would recommend lifting it upward. You want your bottom lashes to glue going straight out, not straight down. If you have them going straight down, you're gonna look a little cray cray, so don't do that. Just keep lifting them while they're drying so that way they kind of dry a little bit more straight. Since both the top and bottom lashes that I'm using are pretty long, I'm not going to use any mascara after I put them on. If you're opting for a shorter length lash or something maybe a little bit more full, you could definitely put on mascara after you put on your false lashes if you want it to look a little bit more dramatic. But if I did put more mascara on, I would probably look like a tarantula. So I'm not gonna do that, but you definitely can if you want to. Now I already have my foundation on, but I'm gonna show you what I do after my foundation. So I'm using the Sephora Smoothing and Brightening Concealer in Light. I actually think it's called Vanilla if you buy it, but on the packaging it says Light. And then I just kinda tap it on on all the areas that I would highlight, so my cheekbones, down my nose, and my chin. And then I buff it out with a beauty blender. And today I'm gonna be setting it with the NARS Translucent Setting Powder. I think it's their crystal one. And for my blush, I'm using MAC Sincere. It's definitely a warmer toned blush than I would typically do, but I think it complements the bronze smoky eye really well, so I'm gonna use that one. Then on my lips, I wanted to do something a little bit softer and neuter, so I'm using a Sonia Kashuk lip liner in Nude, and then I'm putting on a little bit of Myth lipstick and finishing it off with Urban Decay's Naked Lip Gloss in the shade Nooner. If you guys want it to be super red carpet Kim K Glam, 
I would throw on a red lip, so I did do that for you too, just so you could see. This is the Sephora Luster Matte Lipstick in the shade Scarlet. I don't love the way that I look in red lipstick. Um, I think, I don't know, maybe it makes me overheat, clearly. Anyway, we are all done with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching.